Finland's prime minister apologizes for inappropriate picture of women kissing in her home. Finnish prime minister Sanna Marin is apologizing yet again, and the LGBTQ plus community thinks she's cooler for it. The apology is over a picture of two women who were topless and kissing at a party held at her house in July. The photo was posted online by Finnish TikTok influencer Sabina Sarka. Sarka also apologized, saying that she didn't mean to cause further embarrassment for the prime minister. Marin said, quote, in my opinion, the picture is not appropriate. I apologize for it. Nothing extraordinary happened at the get together, end quote. This is not Marin's first scandal. Last week, Marin, a member of the Social Democratic Party, faced criticism after a video leaked of the 36-year-old world leader drinking and dancing. She said that she was upset that the video was leaked, even though she knew she was being filmed at the time. Other politicians in Finland criticized her, including Centre Party Member of Parliament Mikkel Karna, who demanded Marin take a drug test. Quote, the people are entitled to expect this from their prime minister. And, end quote. He said, Marin outright denied anything illegal like drugs at her events. Marin said, quote, I was dancing, singing, partying, hugging my friends, doing totally legal things, end quote. Still, Marin passed, took and passed a drug test. This most recent photo post is of Sarka kissing another woman with both of them lifted up, uh, up, while both of them lifted up their tops. The word Finland covered their breasts. What did the LGBTQ plus community have to say? Online, people praised Marin for being cool and supportive of LGBTQ plus people. Well, uh, it's really refreshing to find a politician, quote, dancing, singing, partying, <laughs> being with my friends, doing totally legal things as opposed to, you know, someone uh, insisting that they be immediately put in as president because that's, a th I mean, seriously, what a seriously. difference. Wow. And how sexist is it? She has to take a, uh, a right. blood test or a drug <laughs> test. Oh my God, because she was dancing and oh my God, a couple of women were kissing. I expected better out of yes. Finland. <laughs> I mean, um, on. Um, but I would like to say um, one, uh, problem with this story for me is that it's not our last story because then we could finish the show. Oh, oh but I'm bummed. You know, like, it's uh, it's funny to me because I'm jealous as all hell of Finland. <laughs> yeah, Let me tell you why. Uh, Finland constantly is reviewed worldwide as uh, among the happiest people mm. on the planet. Finland is always either number one, number two, or number three of the places in the world that you would want to live because the people are just so happy to be there. Um, clearly, this story proves that historically <laughs> because they have nothing better to worry about <laughs> than two women kissing. Right. It's like that is a yawn in, in, in South Florida. It's like, are you kidding with the problems that we're facing? Uh, uh, this isn't a big deal, uh, and and I, to be honest with you, I didn't, I don't even know her sexuality. I, I I don't even know who she's associating with in terms of her sexuality, and that there's lesbians present at a party that she is having. At the end of the day, who cares? Now we know why Finland is the happiest yeah. place on earth. But wasn't Marco Rubio present at parties where they were gay? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, but his pictures weren't really cute <laughs> and warm and fuzzy. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.